Yes, guys, welcome back to the channel. So for those of you who are new here, my name is Mike or Michael, Mike Osborne on Instagram, and I'm a London-based photographer and drummer. This channel, though, is all about photography. It's about shooting, it's about tips and tricks, it's about editing, it's about gadgets, and literally, I'm going to take you through a few things that I do, a few gadgets that I use. But this video is all about locations. It's all about shooting locations in London. Like I said before, I'm a London-based photographer, and I wanted to show you guys like the different locations that I shoot at. This is the first episode of a series of maybe three or four videos where I just take you around London and just show you, like I said before, the um, locations that I love to shoot at. If you are new here or if you're returning and you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Please like this video if you like it and please share it to any photographers or anyone that's literally visiting London. I'm going to show you some spots that are not only for photographers. So let's get straight into this video. First location, let's go! So yes guys, up first we have the Natural History Museum. Um, this is like a free museum in South Kensington or the nearest tube station is South Kensington. And it's a, um, a museum of artifacts, it's of galleries and exhibitions. But for me, it's the architecture and the structure inside, as you can see in the video, that is absolutely amazing. Um, you are allowed to shoot in here for free. Um, the only thing you can't do is use a tripod. But as you can see from the pictures, the architecture looks amazing. You can get as many shots as you like. The biggest down point is that um, no matter what time of the day you go, there will always be people there. I went at 10 a.m. in the morning, that's when it opened and there was a queue outside. And I spoke to one of the um, workers there and they said that it's always busy. Avoid half term if you can, but generally it's always busy. But you can get some amazing pictures here, as you can see. So guys, up next we have the King's Cross Tunnel. Basically it's a tunnel underneath the station that has loads of lights. The lights constantly change colour as you can see here and it just looks really amazing. A lot of symmetry, a lot of leading lines. You can get some absolutely amazing shots here. Um, literally you can just, as you can see I'm walking through the tunnel, you can walk through the tunnel, you can shoot at your heart's content, you can also take a lot of portraits here. I've done a portrait shoot here before and with the changing lights and the colours yeah, you can get some really really nice effects. So this is King's Cross Tunnel, um, I'll put some pictures up of, put a few pictures up that I've taken so you can see. Um, yeah, I would highly recommend this location if you're into symmetry and reflections, leading lines, you can have fun editing here as well. So yeah, King's Cross Tunnel. yes guys we're in the same area and this is actually King's Cross Station just look at the rooftop look at the ceiling look at the colors look at the architecture look at the structure um, the day I was there as you can see we had a artist doing some work so where his stage was set up I really wanted to like shoot there but I've shot there previously um, literally just shot up in the air getting the structure and you can see these amazing lines so this is King's Cross Station That's one of the pictures from the old shoots, looking upwards. Also at this station, we there's like a rooftop or you can go up one level and getting some shots from here would look absolutely amazing. The colors on the roof, you can have so much fun here. I took a few shots here as you can see. Again, there's loads of people there so it might spoil your shot but I still love the shots and I still love the ceiling and I even love the lines going across. Again, you can have fun editing them as well. Also on the station, you have Platform 9. So any Harry Potter fans, um, you know this scene from Harry Potter. Um, I didn't take any pictures here, but as you can see, there are a lot of tourists and a lot of people that come just to visit this Harry Potter or Platform 9 shop. Um, yeah, and you can literally have fun taking shots there as well. So this is still King's Cross Station. 
outside the station you have St Pancras Hotel I don't think I took any I didn't take any shots there but as you can see amazing you can get look at the car there just the building the structure you can get some really really cool shots here um, especially at night as well with the lights on and everything and there it is from a different angle Up next, we I call this the Lloyd's building area. Um, what I'm going to do with all these locations, I'm going to put them in the description below so you can see where I shot. But this is literally by Leaden Market Hall. Um, some amazing cityscapes. I absolutely love this place. I love shooting here. I love editing the shots here. As you can see, get an amazing reflection from one of the benches. Um, that's a look up shot. Just literally looked up. Had those surrounded by the buildings. That's the Lloyd's building there, I believe. Um, and I've just edited it differently. And then there's one a bit further back. So this is the Lloyd's area and it's literally near London Bridge. It's about a 10 minute walk from London Bridge Station, um, five minutes from Monument Station. All right, this is the lesser known location, but I love it. And this is called Duran's Wharf. It's literally um, a road or a park opposite Canary Wharf. Um, I'll show you guys it. Literally, so you find this pathway, just walk up it, and you'll see some amazing cityscapes. I absolutely love this place. I love the view from here. So you've got those buildings. I think it's Newfoundland and the Canary Wharf buildings. I think the HSBC buildings there, the Barclays building somewhere around there. But this is the whole area. This is with me a bit closer. Um, amazing. It's amazing for time lapses as well. There's one portrait, sorry, landscape shot. I think I did a long exposure on that. But as you can see, the sky was absolutely stunning that day. So I managed to get some of the sky. It's another landscape shot. Golden hour. Yeah, and there's me just taking that shot. The sky again is just incredible. I think just before the sun sets, a good time to go. And there we have it. So guys, if you like this video, please like it, please share it, please subscribe to the channel. I want to do a few more videos like this, just showing you different locations that I shoot at. Um, and if you've got any locations that you'd love me to go and visit, please put it in the description below and I'll check it out. I'll make a video in it too and I'll take some shots. Alright, see you on the next one. Peace.